Today we're going to be looking at what bacteria there is in cubicles to see if we can affect that. So, these cubicles, they've had a lime and sawdust product and we're going to take some bacterial readings of the actual cubicles themselves and of the air quality in the building. And then we're going to try a different product to see if we can alter what bacteria is both in the bedding on the cubicle mats and in the air. So these cubicles have had uh, a different product where the straw is treated with non-infective bacteria. This is quite interesting because this is very dry. The bacteria is doing a job drying up the mat where the cows have been stood. Now, here's another observation. We can see where the cozy bed has fallen off the cubicles here and is drying up the slurry in the passage. So we can see any moisture that's landing on the bed being dried up. That's a good illustration with the slurry drying up in the channel there. Initially, both the air and cubicles are dominated by strep uberis bacteria. So on the floor here in the channel, we've got a lot of moisture and slurry and of course, the building convects air, so heat rises up to the roof, up to the ridge, and comes back down. So in this building, like every cubicle shed, there will be air circulating, carrying bacteria from the slurry that's on the floor. That's what the cows are breathing. So if we can change the bacteria that's on the bedding, we can change the air quality. It'll be interesting uh, in a few days time to measure air quality in this building again to see if we can change what's modulating and convecting in the air. A week later and the air is clean, the bedding's dry and clean, the bacteria dominating are those found in the cosy bed product.